Hello, how are you doing? Um, I, you know, I think I'm going to title this video Random Thoughts on Manifesting, okay? Because it is random thoughts. I'm not talking about the subject of manifesting in its entirety. Okay, so for many of you, well, not in this video anyway, okay? So for many of you, um, this will be like filling in the blanks because I do believe that on the topic of manifesting, okay, um, there are important, crucial components missing from many people who try to practice it, and it is so dangerous. And I think that it's even at all of the Illuminati. You see, like I don't know if you've read the book The Secret, right, but it talks about the law of attraction. And I do think that there's maybe a few things missing. And certainly, if there isn't, there's people that like there's things missing in their process. That they go through to try and manifest things and attract things into their into their lives. So then, what happens is this beautiful secret, this beautiful truth, right? That is like um, you know, it, it is is so powerful. Okay, when when it's not you when it's not right, then you know it's going to create doubt and disbelief. People people are going to like just dismiss it and then like then they don't have that in their lives okay which is um, which is what the Illuminati want they want us to be disempowered so that you know and dumbed down so that we can be um, you know um, malleable to them to, for their purposes okay Anyway, you know, they don't want you to be a powerful being, okay, a powerful creative being, okay, you're no good to them as a powerful creative being, but that is your birthright, okay, that is your birthright, you are powerful, you are a, you are an amazing, powerful, creative God being, okay, now, here's the thing, okay, I've come across so many people and they're trying to manifest circumstances, situations, people, things in, in their lives, okay? They're trying to bring these about, you know, um, in a purposeful way, you know, not, not a hit and miss way, not what will be will be, but try, people try and take control of their lives. And um, and actually like create their reality, okay. And what they do, oftentimes, is they will um, sabotage themselves by applying a few truths, but not in the right way. And what do I mean by that? Okay, well, some common mistakes. People will, first of all, create their goals and put them down on paper, okay? So that seems to be quite a widely known about thing, that if you write your goals down, you're more likely to achieve them. That is true, and it is something that a lot of people are aware of that it's true. If you don't think that's true, it is true, so make sure that you don't just have your goals in your head. They're no good in your head they've got to be written down and that's just not for the sake of it okay um, when you write your goals down you're communicating to your subconscious mind when you're doing that so you're reinforcing it and making it more of a decision and a purposeful act that this is my goal okay now then Another thing, people write their goals down, okay, as if it is something that will come about in their lives in the future. Nope, you can't. It doesn't. You cannot do that. You cannot do that. It is now. Right? If you're creating something, it is is now. Yes, it will manifest in the future, okay. 
but you don't be thinking like that it has to be now so you don't write down I will um, get fit and healthy okay and have a flat stomach for example and I'm using that as an example because I'm sick to death of examples that involve money now that might be your goal and that's fine you go right on the head and um, and you go and uh, and create your goals for big fancy cars and fancy houses and lots of money in the bank that's okay if that's you know but but like that's all people you know do you know what this this thing is not exclusive to the ambitious as far as career people and money people go right that's very limiting okay there's more to be had so I'm not going to use those examples so let's just go back a bit so for example you know you, you say I want to um, have a flat stomach be fit be healthy blah 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 well number one that's too vague okay and I think most people are aware that you need to be specific you do need to be specific and you tell people that you need to be specific and they're, they're still not specific you really have to be specific yeah get your thinking hat on what do you mean exactly by that okay okay so that that's something and we'll readdress that in a moment okay or maybe not even in this video it depends on the time okay but we'll I, I feel it in my heart to um to talk on this subject more okay but let's just go back to um, the, the, the now -ness, okay? The future, you see something that is in the future, it's always in the future, okay? If, the, you know, people say, oh, it's just around the corner, it will always be around the corner. It has to be now, okay? When you decide, alright, when you, when you create your reality, okay, and you set your goal, see, even even calling it a goal, do you, do you know something? And I never thought of this. This just comes to me right now, okay? But do you know what? I really feel this in my heart to be true. When you're writing your goals, don't even call them goals, okay? Because you know what you're saying. You know what you're putting out to the universe when you say it's a goal. When you're saying it's a goal, you're implying that it's like something that you don't have, but you want to get to that place in the future, yeah. So the very label of a goal is sabotaging in itself, okay? So perhaps rather than call it a goal, write down, I don't know, a um, statement of, I don't know, you know, make it up yourself. Call it, I don't know, an affirmation list, positive affirmation list, if you like. Okay, and we're gonna get, we're gonna talk about positive affirmations because that's another thing that is like completely people sabotage themselves with so-called positive affirmations. Okay, but positive affirmations are crucial to manifesting. All right, but you maybe don't know the whole truth about that. Okay, so so it has to be now, right? Because that thing that you're creating, before it manifests, you're pregnant with it for a period of time. Okay, when you when you think it, and you decide it, and it is like you passionately want the thing, it is created at that moment. You're waiting for the manifestation of that thing, the physical evidence of that thing. You're waiting for it. Now, when I'm talking about physical evidence of that thing, I'm talking about physical evidence as far as other people are concerned, okay? Because for you, as far as you're concerned, okay, it it is here now. It's now. It has to be now. And yeah, you, I know you're thinking right now. You're thinking, oh, yeah, but that's a lie. You're just lying to yourself. You're kidding to yourself. You know, no, you're not actually, all right? Because like, 
you know, we gauge things by, you know, we, we differentiate between reality and the fantasy via our physical senses, which are not complete anyway. Like, you manifest the thing in a parallel realm, okay? You, you soon, uh, the minute, the minute you think it, you manifest it in another world. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to you want to bring it into the, the, your world now. Okay, but you know you uh, so so it, it, it has to be now. All right. So for example, if you have a cold, all right, and you say to yourself even though your symptoms are like um, you know snivelly nose and a headache and a fever and you say to yourself I am happy healthy wealthy healed and whole okay if you say that to yourself you'll have a little demon on your shoulder whispering in your ear saying you're kidding yourself you're deluding yourself you're not happy healthy wealthy healed and whole you've got a cold alright who are you trying to kid Okay, so that's the problem that people face. People can't rationalise the science of um, manifesting. They can't rationalise it. So they try to rationalise it. And then they dismiss the idea of, of speaking things that are just not true. But you know what? Rationality, science and rationality is only appropriate for the physical world that is measurable with maths and science and, you know, it's perceived in terms of these things, okay? But you see things that are outside of this plane of reality, this, this world, alright? Science can't deal with those things, right? Because there's no way of experimenting or measuring or documenting. It's 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 it's, it's outside. It's just it's just not here. It's you can't work with it, but it but it's there. So you know, it has to be, as far as others are concerned, a lie. But you've got to convince yourself that it is a reality, that it is what it is, and ignore that rational thinking in your mind. You've got to ignore it and speak it anyway and live it anyway. So it's not just speaking the right thing, but like every part of you, you've got to act as though it is in your life now. Yeah, and see if people started doing that. I think that the manifestation. You see, people, ma people there are people that manifest things in their lives, and it takes a while. I think they can be like much quicker, much quicker, if um, we started acting and living and talking and feeling as though the thing were already here now. Yeah, so it's not. It will be. It's I am. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So there's some random thoughts. I'm out of time. We just barely scratched the iceberg. There's so much more to talk about. It's a bit jumbled up. Because I speak from my heart. Um, I don't have a flow chart beside me. Um, or bullet point. It is oftentimes appropriate to do that, but I'm not at work, you know, I'm just at home putting my thoughts into a vlog, you know, so I'm just pouring my thoughts of the day, pouring them out. So it is some random thoughts, jumbled up, no order, but we'll come back to this topic.